The scene outside the sportsman's is one that just days ago was unimaginable. Then again, deodorant, there's cleaning supplies, there's uh, Don Rickardson, bedding, a TV, a table. Would have never imagined this either. I knew that there would be a large response. I just didn't expect it to be this quickly. In the wake of the fire that left a bar without business and 11 people without a home, the silver lining to this tragedy is visible right down the road. My first thought was it's so cold and these poor people that are homeless and lost everything. And so Rickardson and others looking to help took to Facebook, spreading the word that anyone who had anything that could help the victims of the fire could drop it off at the brickyard within just hours. Just amazed at everything else. There's towels and... Everything. Goodwill could be seen covering the brickyard's basement as hundreds of donations poured in. I got goosebumps. <laughs> it's really, it's wonderful. It's generosity that is greatly needed as the people whose homes are gone might not have anywhere to go after Monday when their hotel stay arranged by the Red Cross is up. A concern that officials at the Salvation Army, where victims first went for help, say was first on people's minds. When can I get back into my apartment? When can I get my stuff? Where, where can I go get, where, when can we get back in? That was the biggest issue. To Rickardson, it makes sense that help like this will be given to a neighboring bar because that's what they are, neighbors. This is people that we know, and if this were to happen to us, I know they would all do the same thing. I know they would. In Hibbing, Jennifer Austin, KBJR 6 and Range 11.